Working on setting up equations from word problems. Uh, this one just wants us to relate the cost to minutes for cell phone usage. So here, they already define our variables, which is nice. We'll have to do that in the future uh, problems here. But this one, they tell us cost is, and how do we find the cost? Well, it's five cents per minute or for each minute. So we're done. And we can't solve anything. We have two variables. Uh, we could use this if you give them uh, 100 minutes of usage. We just multiply it by 0 0.05. If you want to, you know, you got $50 to use, you could put 50 in for C and then solve for M to see how much money, uh, excuse me, how much uh, time you could talk. So let's move on to something a little bit more where we have to read it and read it carefully. Um, I'm just going to point out right away, it says write a system of equations. System means more than one. So we need two equations, two variables here. So I'm going to let you uh, read through here and see if we can tell what our variables will be. So this problem reminds us to write a let statement. So we're going to let, and it hopefully you found out the two variables here would be red and blue candies. All right, we got a, a bag full of candy, there's only red and blue. And also notice everything is in pounds. So I'm gonna let R equal pounds of red candy, where obviously then B becomes pounds of blue candy. So two variables we're gonna use here, that means we need um, two equations. We could do this with uh, one variable, but I think two variables for this type of problem uh, works very nicely. So where are we going to get these two equations from? Well, first one, right there. The bag weighed 11 pounds. So that's total. So how do you do a total? Well, you add things up. All right, so we have pounds of red, plus pounds of blue better add up to 11 because that's all that's in the bag. So there's our our first equation. We need two since we have two variables. So here we can notice red candy costs a buck 29 per pound and blue candy costs 79 cents per pound. Well we know the total cost so what we can do is well for each red it's going to cost $1.29 per red, 79 cents for blue. If we add those two costs up, it will be 11.29. From here, we could solve this elimination substitution. Uh, we could graph this, see where they intersect. Um, but we're going to stop here since we've done our job. We've set up the, the problem. Another type of problem here, a uh, very common problem. And for these, if you got a shape, it does help to draw a picture like I did. So here we got length and width. I'm going to actually do this one twice. Once using two variables and then another time using a single variable. And I think I'll start with the single variable approach. So I got my picture over here. And I'm just going to let, and it says the width is four times the length. So I can get the width if I know the length. So I'm going to start with L equals length. So if I go over my picture here, if this is L, my width has to be, well, 4 times that, so 4L. So if I go through here, well, perimeter is just all the sides added up. Well, if I have one variable, kind of easy to, to write this one. Uh, I got 4, 4, 1, and 1, so that's 10L altogether has to be 60. This actually is a very easy equation. L would be 6 here. And then you could go find width has to be 24, and that would, that would work out. So this one actually, if you use one variable, actually much easier. I will show you can use two when you're not going to be wrong. So I'm going to let, I'll stick with L being the length, and then let W equal the width. So I'll introduce the W. So over here it'll just be L, L, W, W. So the, the first equation just comes from the perimeter statement. 
I have two W's plus two L's will equal 60. So that's from the perimeter. Then I go use the second statement. The width is four times the length. The width is four times the length. And from here, I would definitely use substitution, and you would get to the same spot you did before. You'd end up getting to the 10L equals 60. So in this case, one variable did, you know, did work better. So you have to you know, choose, a, choose wisely, but they will both work in the end. Last problem here, um, triangle. So it's talking about perimeter again, so we're going to be adding up the sides of the triangle. Uh, so set up an equation to solve for the lengths of the sides. So once again, we have three unknowns. Well, if we have three unknowns, we need three equations. I think we want to try to avoid that. So let's avoid using three variables. Instead, let's use just one. And if you read through the problem, the shortest side is half the length of the longest. So if we had the longest, we could get the shortest. Now, some people have trouble here setting these up. So if you're used to the guess and check tables, go ahead, start using one of those, and then I'll show you how we can uh, convert that into the equation. So I'm going to start with the length of the longest side. Right. And you can use any, any variable from there. Let's just say the length is L. Well then, shortest side, it tells us the shortest side is half the longest. Um, easier way to write half is just multiply by a half of the longest side. Remember, L stands for the longest side. Well, then how are we going to get the third side? Well, the third side is 10 less than the longest. Okay, so third side is 10 less than the longest. There's 10 less than the longest. Well, the only perimeter, we'd have to add all these up. And the perimeter is 120. Combine like terms. All right, so here's our longest. Here's the shortest. And all this together would be the third side. So you add up first, second, and third side. It should equal 120. You can solve from there. Um, if you did go through and use three variables, you could still do it. All right. Um, the shortest side, so we'd have to have three variables. Let S equal shortest. L equal longest, and then, oh, uh, let's see here, middle, all right, middle side, I suppose. All right, so then we have to have, well, then we have to have three equations here. Uh, the shortest side is half the length of the longest, so S equals, and we already talked about this, 0.5 L. The third side is 10 less, so the third side, or our middle side, is 10 less. But then we need one more equation. Well, that's where the perimeter comes in. If we add shortest plus longest plus middle, that will get us 120. Well, what we'd have to do here, then, is just rewrite this. S is 0.5L from here. L is just L. The medium, or the middle one, is L minus 10. So if you notice, we're right back to where we were with the one variable equation. But the one variable equation was a little shorter. So all in all, you know, you have to decide, um, do I go with one variable? Do I go with two variables? Do I go with three variables? Uh, you, you can end up at the same spot, but sometimes it just takes a little longer. So hopefully that helps. We didn't solve any of these, but uh, we can solve these um, single variables just like we always have, and the two variable ones with substitution elimination, uh, something, something with systems of equation. So I hope that helped out.